Just got my new Dell XPS laptop. Uh, it's pretty cool. I've always wanted an XPS, um, and I finally got one, so I'm super excited. Um, the only thing about this one, it only came with 16 gigabytes of memory and 512 gigabytes of storage. So today, I've got uh, 64 gigs of memory to install and an additional 2 terabyte NVMe drive to put in here. Um, that will effectively make this laptop uh, almost as much uh, capacity as my uh, full on gaming laptop does. Okay, so I've got it all back together now. Um, <laughs> this case, um, the XPS case, um, you're gonna have to use like a guitar pick or something to get in this. Um, it did take me a little bit, a couple different tries to get it, but I finally popped it. Um, normally I like to start on the corners. Uh, normally I get some leverage right there, but on this model, uh, I actually had to go in the back um, to start popping the case out. So anyways, um, it's booted up, everything's there, everything registered in Windows. 
One big note though, um, when I initially turned it back on, um, I just kind of got that Dell logo um, on the boot screen for probably several minutes. Um, I kind of thought I must have done something wrong. Um, but, you know, like a lot of different man manufacturers, Dell does special stuff. So, um, on a Dell product, when you turn it on, you put new memory in, the first thing the BIOS does is it recognizes, hey, I've got new memory in here. Um, so it actually goes ahead and performs a memory test. Um, there's no indication of the user, it doesn't tell you anything like that. Um, but you know, that's what it does. So if you put it in, so if you upgrade your memory on an XBS and you turn it back on and you just get the Dell logo and it's just sitting there, just, just let it go for a few minutes. Um, it's just doing an ECC RAM test, um, pretty standard stuff. Um, so now I've got um, everything loaded and this was successful.